Hello, this is Mighty Owl. I need a mighty good breakfast in order to have enough energy to last me until lunchtime. But hang on, how are breakfast and energy connected? Well, the food we eat is converted into energy by our body, so we can achieve so much throughout the day, from mighty math class to powering through physical education. But energy comes in many different forms, not just in the form of delicious bagels. There's electrical energy, light energy, sound energy, and even more. One form of energy can be converted into another. For example, light energy from the sun can be converted into electrical energy with the use of solar panels. The heat from the earth, called geothermal energy, can be transformed into electrical energy by the help of special power plants. Hmm, if you think about it, electrical energy is one of the most common and possibly the most useful forms of energy. Now, in order to understand how electrical energy works, let's use our engineering and design skills to figure it out. Think about how much electricity you use on a daily basis. It may be hard to imagine life without it. Each time you use a computer, a cell phone, an electric toothbrush, or you just turn on your favorite TV show, you are depending on electricity. Our daily lives would look totally different without it. All devices that use electricity depend on the flow of energy through an electric circuit. Now, here you may ask, what is an electric circuit? Well, it's a continuous and closed path that allows electricity to flow. Engineers have figured out how to make electricity do things like light our homes when it's dark outside or power the ovens in which we cook our food. To do this, electricity needs to be able to flow from a source, like a battery, to something like a light bulb. Do you think that you'd be able to build a simple circuit? It's actually easier than you think. You can design and engineer your own circuit right at home. A circuit begins with an energy source, like a small generator or just a simple battery. Uh, let's try something out together. Gather a D battery, aluminum foil, a small light bulb, and some tape. Now, cut two strips of aluminum foil, which will act as the wires in your circuit. Now, a battery has chemical energy stored inside of it, and this energy will be converted into electrical energy. Now, take a close look at the battery. It has a positively charged end and a negatively charged end. These are shown with a positive and a negative symbol. Tape one strip of foil to the negative end of the battery and the other strip to the positive end. Now, tape the opposite end of one strip of the foil to the underside of the metal below the light bulb and the end of the other strip to the other side of the metal below the light bulb. Now, what do you think will happen when the strips are connected to the light bulb? Well, that's right. The energy that is stored in the battery will flow from the battery through the foil, which acts like a conductor, straight to the light bulb. And this simple circuit that you just built is an example of the way energy can be converted into electricity to create light. On a much larger scale, this is how electricity gets to our homes and buildings. A power plant generates electricity, and that electricity travels along wires just like it traveled through the aluminum foil in our circuit. Electricity is constantly flowing to our homes from power plants, along the miles of wires that you can see throughout your landscape. When we flip on a switch, we're controlling the flow of electricity. Each time you turn on a light switch or plug your tablet into your charger, you are completing an electrical circuit. And when you turn the switch off or unplug your tablet, you're stopping the flow of electricity. Electrical energy can also be converted into heat energy. Think about an oven, for example. What happens when we turn on an oven? If it's an electric oven, turning it on opens up the flow of electricity to coils inside of the oven, causing them to heat up. That heat energy can then be used to bake delicious things like these cookies. So as you can see, energy is needed to get things done, and it can come in many forms, such as heat, light, electrical, and more. Furthermore, 
energy is constantly being converted into different forms in our world. Electric circuits allow us to create a flow of electricity that can be converted into light or heat energy in our homes. Humans have engineered ways to use electric energy to power everything from computers to ovens to flashlights. So next time you flip on a switch, think about the fact that you have just finished a circuit in order to complete the flow of electricity. Great job, mighty engineer. See you in our next video.